In order to catch them young, five aside primary and secondary schools football competition organized for primary and secondary schools in Oredo local government area of Edo State will commence on May 2nd, 2024. The over 11 days football tournament is put in place by the Oredo Council Chairman, Dr. Tom Obaseki, for primary and secondary school students within the council area. According to the council chairman, the competition will be played in four divisions of male and female categories, each for primary and secondary school categories, adding that the competition is aimed at talent discovery. Speaking with newsmen in Benin City on Monday during a press briefing, Dr. Baseki said that talents discovered during the competition will be given international exposure by invited football scouts. He said, we are proud to announce the commencement of Oredo School's Five-A-Side Football Championship in Benin. This championship will have students across all schools in Oredo local government area battling it out at the pitch to be crowned the ultimate Five-A-Side Football Champion with various individual and collective prizes to be won. We have also secured the participation of international scouts to ensure that outstanding talents are given international exposure. This competition is aimed at developing talents in Oredo by catching them young, stressing that in order to retain sustainability of the competition in future, the council will be partnering with Edo State Sports Commission, 70 Grains and Edo State Drivers Welfare, Obaseki said. He also explained that Oredo Games is a group of sporting games as the council in the next few weeks will be kicking off football league that will be played amongst the 12 wards in council area. He said over a hundred matches are expected to be played at several locations in the local government area, spanning between June and July. In addition to that, we will transit towards the peak of the raining season to indoor games, that is, traditional games within our environment like the draft and IO, and we hope to close the year with a 10-kilometer race. The five-a-side football championship, which will be played at Uwa Primary School, Owege Primary School, New Era College and Anglican Girls Grammar School, all in Benin, is expected to come to an end on May 13, 2024. Reporting is Margaret Okari from Oberland TV. Men and ladies of the press, I welcome you to another epoch making events from the stable of Oredo Government Council. In continuation of our annual sporting calendar, known as Oredo Games 2024, we are proud to announce the commencement of Oredo School's Five-A-Side Football Championship. <laughs> this championship will have students from all of the schools in Oredo local government area battling it out in the pitch to be crowned the ultimate five-a-side football champion with various individual and collecting prizes to the world. The game at Anglican Girls Grammar School will be close to all games. We shall be communicating and sharing with you moving forward the whole calendar and the fixtures after this. Distinguished presidents of the world of the world, let me use this opportunity to invite you to be part of this noble initiative to develop talents in the world by catching them here. Come and show support for the future of football in Nigeria. You will recall that the first of the 17 champions of the world was the team was almost 90, over 90 percent populated by people from Edo, the city. So this is where sports live and sports has been with us. To ensure the sustainability of this initiative, we are partnered with Edo State Sports Commission, Seventy Brains and Edo State Drivers Welfare to support us with the transportation and safe movement of the children from their schools to the venues. We have also secured the constitution of an international scout to ensure that outstanding talents are given international exposure. This is one of the kind
time talent development sport initiative by a local government in Nigeria. I will believe that at the end of this event, international stars will be performed in the radio. God bless Nigeria, God bless every state, God bless the radio. And as we always say here, it is your radio, it is my radio, and it is our radio. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, that uh, in so short I get about four hours of sleep, I will tell you that you are very, very correct. Your chairman was somewhere in UK, and the call to me is strictly about sports. Chairman, I'm thinking about cycling. <laughs> I'm thinking about this. Your chairman doesn't think about small, small sports. He think about big one. He said something here now that he has scouts coming for our other side. Mr. Chairman, I must thank you. Not only putting the event up, but when you have scouts, meaning that one or two could be picked. In the near future, they could turn pro and they are making money for themselves, for their family, and also for the state. I think that's what sports is about. Sports is no longer recreation. Sports is now an industry. People make so much money from sports. At commission level, I'm sure, let me just give you a small hint. We have sold one, two, three players from insurance. And selling those players is not Naira, it is dollar. Mr. Chairman, I must sincerely thank you. You have our 100% support. I told the peers, if you call us for a press conference, press briefing, anything of sports at 2 a.m., I bet you will be here. Thank you. What, you, what you stand for in Oriado, we have 18 local government council in this state, but you are, let me say you are way, way ahead of others. You take your call not only from the angle of a layman, but from a professional angle of it. You don't just do things for doing sake. You do things very well. We must sincerely thank you. Every single thing you brought on board the past boss, it is so fantastic that we have no option but to support you at any time. You can count on us. If you need our facilities, anything you need, as long as we have it, we go the extra length, we'll give it to you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Thank you very much. I'm very committee, swine in the state. I'm standing in the place for the chairman, Aliyu Zorua of Vanguard. Unfortunately, he's not here. Uh, my question is just a very short one. Uh, the chairman didn't tell us the money involved, talking about price involved in this competition. My name is Andre Benjamin Sakuba, English Heritage. Five um, decide, you mentioned four venues. When is the time for the competition and how do you tend to get spectators to that place? Thank you. Question I will use this opportunity to also provide further information about Oregon Games. Uh, Oregon Games is a group of sporting events. Um, like the MC mentioned, within the next one week, we are also kicking off a football league that will be based according to the 12 awards in Oregon. It's a league, so we are going to have over 100 matches to be played at several locations. Uh, spanning between this period two and uh, June, July. Uh, in addition to that, um, we are now going to transit uh, towards the peak of the rainy season to indoor games. We will be talking about some traditional games within our environment like the traps. We want to have up the sport in the indoor games. Then we will also be talking about the organization. Are you? Did you call it to Gary Set? We call it to Gary Set. So we call it Gary Set. So those are two indoor games that we hope that will come online. And we we'll hope to close the year with a 10 kilometer race um, towards the end of the year. Um, 
I would like to first question why this is a final sign for schools and uh, the emphasis is not about cash for the children, uh, even though there is cash benefit, but that is not what we are selling. We want them to enjoy their sports and come out to enjoy their sports. Uh, in addition to cash, to like, like I said in my speech, it's a combination of individual uh, price and institutional price. So for the school, there will be a special project, and for the uh, students that come out to Brian Tops, a special recognition and prize too. We are not emphasizing on the cash at this level. Um, like I also mentioned, we have a shadow who will share it with um, everybody. The timetable will be clear. And the, the, there are four locations. Actually, that's why you see the whole stakeholders are all involved. We didn't just work on this on our own. We also involved the education uh, uh, unit of the arm of the local government. So it's going to take place in the, those schools, and the timetable will be shared with just everybody uh, after this uh, press briefing. Thank you.